Hello, a quick review of cleavers one more time. Uh, this is a good high quality cleaver. It's about a pound and a half. Great for chickens, uh, even fish, rib tips, things like that. Uh, this cleaver is forged. It's a high carbon, no stain, German alloy steel. It's NSF certified. Uh, triple rivets, very nice. Unbreakable poly handle and lifetime warranty. So check it out. Uh, I'll be back, and if you're looking for cleavers, you know where to check them out. Uh, you, it's very simple. You go to the site, the sponsor, you click on cutlery, and then there's a lot of little brands and pictures and things, and you click on cleavers. Do that, you're going to find this cleaver and many, many others. Uh, I'll be back with more reviews and show you some more things. Have a great day. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is a Messemeister cleaver. It's made in Germany. Very nice quality. Uh, nice balance, nice feel, nice weight to it. This is your regular Chinese cleaver. Uh, these are made all over the place. China, uh, Brazil, other places. Very sharp, very good cleaver for the price. It just depends what you're looking for. And in here, we have some Santuco knives. Uh, there's no cleaver in this block. This is a 24 slot set by Messemeister. Very nice set. Now I recommend that you own a whole set of knives. Every knife has an individual purpose. However, if you don't and you're looking for a cleaver, decide if you're chopping through bones, lots of chicken, pork, different things, then you want to decide how heavy of a cleaver you want, the weight and the balance. If you're cutting small things like onions, a Santuco might be a little more appropriate for you. Uh, and very large onions, this is a Vidalia here, you could use a cleaver. just depends how much cutting and chopping you're going to do. Always keep your fingers rolled back. That was the stamp Santuco knife after wiping it off. Let's replace it back in the block. Now I'm switching over to the Forge Santuco knife. This knife's a little bit heavier. It's going to do the same thing. However, with the heavier knife, it's a little bit more balanced, has a little bit better feel, cuts through them onions like butter. So they're both good knives. I like the Forge better. Okay, once again, notice this cleaver. Uh, besides the rivets, the handle, made in Germany out of the better steel, it's a no stain. X50 CRMOV15. It's a high carbon alloy tool steel and this knife is beautiful. Balance, feel, the fit. Notice also the, the camber of the blade. The blade has a nice curve to it. Compared to a typical Chinese cleaver, a little bit flatter, a little straighter. I like the curve more, but we're going to try both of these. I'm going to use my paring knife four inch paring to cut the top and bottom of this Fidelia onion. It's always a good idea. Use the right tool for the job. It's so much easier. You use a cleaver to get the onion peeled. Uh, it's not as easy. It's more dangerous. Too. Okay, once this onion gets peeled, I'm going to quickly cut it in half. <clears throat> and we're going to give a little chop. Now we're going to try this Chinese cleaver. Works fine. Uh, I like the German one much better. This cleaver, this cleaver's thicker and heavier. This cleaver is thinner and more balanced. Okay, so we'll be preparing French onion au gratin, and the recipe will be coming in a later later day. Uh, to review the cleavers, I really like the German. This is Messemeister, well worth the money. So check out the website. 
please visit and uh, subscribe, add us as a friend. There's contests coming soon too. There'll be some giveaways and there's some great deals on the website.